Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Class. I am your teacher, Ma Maureen S. Angat. You have learned from our previous lesson that little spheric plates are slowly moving at different directions. This movement of plates can be classified into three types of plate boundaries, namely convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, and transform pole plate boundary. Along the plate margins, earthquake, volcanoes, and mountain ranges are being formed. But, what other geologic activities may be formed in the different type of plate boundaries? What would happen if two different lithospheric plates collide? Why do we need to study these different geologic processes? Let's find out in today's lesson. For the most essential learning competency, we are going to explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries. Remember that there are two types of crust, the continental crust and oceanic crust. Though the oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust, the oceanic crust is denser than the continental crust. This idea about crust is very important to help you understand the geologic processes occurring in the different types of plate boundaries. Let us start with the convergent plate boundary. In convergent plate boundary, the lithospheric plate move each other. When continental and oceanic plates collide, the thinner and denser oceanic plate is overridden by the thicker and less dense continental plate. The oceanic plate is forced down into the mantle in a process known as subduction. As the oceanic plate descends, it is forced into the higher temperature environments. At a depth of about 100 miles, materials in the subducting plate begin to approach their melting temperatures and the process of partial melting begins. When a convergent boundary occurs between two oceanic plates, one of those plates will subduct beneath the other. Normally, the older the plate will subduct because of its higher density. Magma chambers are produced as a result of this melting, and the magma is lower in density than the surrounding rock material. It begins ascending by melting and fracturing its way through the overlying rock material. Magma chambers that reach the surface break through to form a volcanic eruption cone. Just like in the convergence of oceanic to continental crystal plate that gives rise to the formation of trenches, volcanic arc, and earthquakes. In the last type of convergent plate boundary, where two continental crystal plates collide, there is no subduction zone. Therefore, no volcanoes but rather a collision zone happens that create mountain ranges and shallow earthquakes. Now, let us continue our lesson on the processes that occur along divergent plate boundary. As what you can see, when a divergent boundary occurs beneath oceanic lithosphere, the rising convection current below leaves the lithosphere, producing a mid-ocean ridge. Extensional forces stretch the lithosphere and produce a deep fissure. When the fissures open, Pressure is reduced on the superheated mantle materials below. It responds by melting and the new magma flows into the fissure. The magma then solidifies and the process repeats itself. If the divergent movement is happening in the oceanic plates, it can lead to the formation of oceanic ridge and reef valley. What are oceanic ridge and reef valley? How they are formed. Oceanic Ridge is an underwater mountain range formed by the plate tectonics. The oceanic ridge occur when the convection current rises in the mantle beneath the oceanic crust and create magma, where two tectonic plates meet at divergent boundary. As plates continue to move apart, an unlifted ocean floor will develop in both sides of the plate which is called oceanic ridge. 
Since oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust, the creation of linear-shaped lowland between oceanic ridge will develop called rift valley. Did you know that the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a mid-ocean ridge located along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean and part of the longest mountain range in the world? Divergent plate movement can also occur in continental plate. As continental plates start to move apart, the crust will start thinning and develops a continental rift valley. The continental rift valley will develop into a narrow sea and then into a wide ocean. And the last is transform plate boundary. Transform plate boundaries are locations where two plates slide past from each other. The fracture zone that forms transform plate boundary is known as a transform fault. Most transform faults are found in the ocean basin and connect offsets in the mid-ocean ridges. A smaller number connect mid-ocean ridges and subduction zone. The presence of an oceanic ridge is an indication of diverging plates. As the plates diverge between the two segments of the mid-ocean ridge, the adjacent slab of the crust are grinding past each other, forming transform fault. Transform boundaries and the resulting faults produce many earthquakes because edges of the tectonic plates are jagged rather than smooth. As the plates grind past each other, the jagged edges strike each other, catch and stick locking the plates in place for a time. Because the plates are locked together without moving, a lot of stress builds up at the fault line. This stress is released in quick burst when the plates suddenly slip into new positions. An earthquake is the result of sudden release of stored energy in the earth crust that creates seismic waves. At the earth's surface, earthquakes may manifest themselves by a shaking or displacement of the ground. Did you know that San Andreas Fault is a continental transform fault that extends roughly 1,200 kilometers through California? It forms the tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, and its motion is right lateral strike slip. And now, let us find out if you learn from our next one. Kindly ready your paper and pen. Please refer to your self-learning module on page 27. Learning Task 2 I hope all of you got the correct answer. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from our lesson. Again, this is Mama Will, your science teacher. Bye!